But what's going on everybody this is David and today we've got Counter-Strike 2 finally released on the PC. We've had CSGO for the last 10 years that has been the de facto esports title for many people but now we finally have Counter-Strike 2. It has been pretty much ported over to the Source 2 engine. We've got some graphical upgrades, some lighting upgrades as you can see the real-time shadows on his body here. His body is casting a shadow. These leaves from the palm trees are all casting shadows it looks really good the game obviously doesn't look as good as like modern Warfare 2 or anything like that but overall the game looks pretty good it looks more sunny it's it's really nice looking game so what we're going to be doing here is we're going to be going over the video settings first of all though i am running this on my main gaming rig this is a amd ryzen 7600x cpu and my GPU is the 6900 XT. We've got 4K, 120 Hertz. Everything is maxed out. And interesting enough, in this title, we have FSR support. I don't believe that this was in CSGO. So that is nice. You will have some upscaling features available to you if you have lower end hardware. Not that this game is hard to run, but there are some people out there that have pretty low in hardware. All right, so let's go ahead and play a game. Now, I was gonna play Dust 2, but I wanna show you guys something with this game. I have played a few matches before this video. I wanna show you guys what this game looks like with me playing a map for the first time. So I just did the driver install, the new driver install for this game from AMD. And what you will see is some shader compilation stutter that is one issue with this new counter-strike 2 game is that there are some shader compilation stutters okay uh what is happening right now everybody is frozen all right i'm gonna go ahead and exit out because i don't know what the hell is happening there so yeah that's something you're gonna notice if you have a new driver install you're just booting this game up for the first time you're gonna have some stuttering going on and that is the shader compilation stutter so whenever a new effect happens you die or you kill somebody or a grenade blows up in front of you you're gonna get that problem and it's pretty pretty bad oh okay um yeah I have steam no steam okay what okay guys that i don't i've never experienced that so i'll be right back all right we were finally able to start a match here another issue that i've noticed is that this game is unable to be uncapped from my frame rate or my refresh rate which is 120. and no matter what i did like if i try to uncap the frame rate it's still 120. If I turn off virtual sync, it's still 120. If I play in window mode, it's still 120. Ooh, right in the face, buddy. You didn't see that coming, huh? It's 120 no matter what. So I don't know if there's going to be a fix or if there is a fix. I tried to look online. There was no answer for a fix. So I w I'm not sure what's, what's going on. If you guys know, please let me know in the comments below. That would be very beneficial to me. But overall, the game looks largely the same as CSGO. It plays largely the same. It does look better, though. Like, the gun models look better. The overall presentation looks very, very clean. I feel like the sunny maps look more sunny uh, the textures look pretty low quality as they i mean the texture detail and all that looks good but the resolution is still pretty pretty low to quality you can tell they're not 4k textures or anything like that Ooh. so it largely looks the same largely plays the same but there are some new effects, like the new smoke effects and stuff like that. If I, when I, when I die, I'll, I'll buy the smoke and I'll show you guys. Let's, you know, kind of see like what the, 
what the um, FPS is with the smoke. Oh, okay, I can't even buy it. Whatever. Anyways, we have the new 3D smoke effects, and then we have the the new fire effects, which look pretty cool. So yeah, there are some new things added into the game that make it visually more appealing, but overall, it's it's still pretty much the same game. Like, not honestly, not that massive of a difference. Gameplay-wise, it doesn't really play any different, to be honest. But overall, once you get um, so in this map, I'm pretty sure I played this map. I'm not sure. I'm not seeing any cash issues with this game. Like, I'm not seeing a lot of stutters. There are some stutters, but it was really bad when I first got into Dust 2, for example. But once you start playing the same map over and over again, it's obviously going to go away. But I still feel like there should be a pre-compilation done to this game because anytime you for example update your drivers or anything like that you're gonna have that stutter in every single map and for a competitive game like this that's a pretty big deal and overall though I've even the traversal stutters I've definitely noticed more stutters in this game than CSGO CSGO almost never stuttered for me like maybe a few times here and there like you know micro stutters but overall never like this All right, let's see what we got. But yeah, like this indoor section right here looks way better than CSGO did, I remember. Let's see if I can get somebody. All right, that's it. All right, so let's go ahead and hop on over to my wife's laptop and see what the performance is like on that. All right, I've got the game running on my wife's laptop here. As you can see, it's got a Core i5 DDR4. We're running at 1366 by 768. And we've got everything on the lowest settings. And I actually had to turn on FSR on performance mode. And with all these changes, this is the FPS we're getting. <laughs> it's around 30 to 40. Actually very playable. And the game is quite smooth, actually. Now I'm playing with the trackpad here because I'm not, I'm not really serious. But the game is quite playable. It looks horrible, but it is playable. I'm getting less FPS than I was on CSGO. On CSGO, I was actually able to play it at a native 720p at this frame rate. However, on with CSGO, I had major stutters, like it was not smooth at all. However, this is actually smooth. Like, as you can see, my frame time, Ooh, look at all that blood, Jesus. Um, as you can see, the frames are actually really smooth. Like, I'm not stuttering here at all. So, even though this is running worse technically and does look worse, it actually, it actually does feel smoother, which is, which is nice. So, it's, it's definitely playable, guys. So, if you have a really low end computer with FSR, you are you're actually able to to straight up play the game, no problem at all. <laughs> this is so bad. Let me see if I can at least get somebody Very good. just by standing here. But yeah, as you can see, the frame time, the frame rate is quite smooth. I was not getting this at all with CSGO on this laptop. All right, that's, I think that's pretty much it. Thank you guys for watching. Let me know what you think in the description below. And have a great day.